Marine velvet can set in on your fish in just a couple of days, but if you can recognize the symptoms of the fish before they start showing the visible signs of the disease, then you're a lot farther ahead in being able to take care of those fish and get them what they need before they So the basic idea is that velvet is a parasite that the fish get infected with and it begins infecting the mouth, gills, and head first before it starts affecting the rest of the fish. And in this time when this is happening, sometimes the fish will display some behavioral symptoms before you see those visible signs. You might find that your fish has a reduced appetite or it stops eating altogether. Maybe it starts scraping against the rock and twitching its head, shaking its head kind of hard. And even sometimes the fish will hide away behind the rocks and stuff like that because the velvet organism makes the fish become sensitive to light. And another thing that they do is they might swim headstrong into a water flow. So if you see these things happening and it's not something your fish normally does, if it's a new behavior that needs to set off a little flag in your brain going, hey, this fish has changed its behavior. Let me keep a closer eye on it and make sure everything's going to be okay. So only a short day or two after you begin noticing these behavioral changes, you can probably start to see some of the physical signs of this disease setting in. Early on, once it gets into the body of the fish, the fish can be blotchy in color or have like really dark areas. And you'll also start possibly seeing little white spots on the fish. Now, velvet and ick look very close to one another, but the general rule for you to be able to tell them apart is if you can count the spots, then it's probably ick. If the spots are too small and too numerous to count, then it's probably velvet. Now, if you see this in your fish, you need to start getting yourself ready for a six week quarantine period. Your fish are going to have to be out of your main display for a period of six weeks to allow all the life cycles of velvet that have begun in your tank to finally extinguish and be done for. Now, while those fish are in quarantine, there's a couple of things that you can do to help the fish feel better, but these things aren't going to take care of the velvet. I'll explain that in a minute. So there's pretty much about four things that you can do to help treat the symptoms of the fish and help the fish feel a little bit better. You can do a hydrogen peroxide bath. You can do a formalin bath, a freshwater dip, and there's even a product on the market that you can get called Ruby Red Reef Pro. You get that and bath the fish in that, and it helps make the fish feel better. But this doesn't kill the parasite. What comes next is the most important part. Now you're going to have to get all of your fish that's showing signs and symptoms and I recommend just doing all of the fish in the tank anyway because if one fish has it, the other ones are probably right behind it. Get them into a quarantine situation. Now it's not hard to set this up and I'll have another video where I explain how you do that, but the basic idea is a smaller aquarium, a few light hiding places, and a sterile environment. This does not have to be cycled and once you do that, you're going to have to be running one of either of these two medications. Now you're going to want to pay attention to the instructions for these and run those medications as it says on the package, but there is a third option that doesn't involve medicating your fish and it's called the tank transfer method. And basically it is exactly how it sounds. You're going to have to have two quarantine setups set up <laughs> and you're going to put the fish in the first one. And after a certain number of days, you're going to transfer those fish into the second quarantine, tear the first one down, clean it, sterilize it, and set it back up with brand new fresh salt water. And then after a certain number of days, you transfer the fish back to the other tank, tear this one down, clean it, and so on and so forth. And what this does is a pattern interrupt in the life cycle of the velvet. But this method takes a little bit longer. It takes 13 days start to finish to do a proper round of the tank transfer method. And you may have to do more than one round. So it's just something to think about. Now you can look all of these methods up online and get even more information. I just wanted to bring you the basics, a lot like this video right here. I'll see you over there.